Welcome to my other show. My name is Susan Rushton, and this is my second show on ACTV. It's Ah Muse. This is the show on which I get to, I'm privileged to, I, I'm thrilled to, I'm allowed to talk to people, artists who are visited by the muse in this area. <sighs> Today, this is, this is the, the one I get to do with, because it's my favorite. I get to talk to another author, and we get to talk about each other's writing. And this is, a, 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 and I so I get to be interviewed too, in in essence. My name is Susan Rushton. I am an author, a local author. This is Wendy Cole's little page. Wendy, thank you very much for joining me. And if if me as you're watching or after you're watching you want to learn more about Wendy go to, uh, to her uh, Facebook Facebook page Wendy Cole's little page author or she has a web website all about her the books she's written disfiguredseries.com and if that doesn't draw you to her website I don't know what it what will <laughs> disfiguredseries.com Wendy, thank you very much for joining me, and I'm tickled that you're here. Um, <laughs> and the way we work this, this time, is that each of us asks a question of the other, and each of us answers a question. So, the first question is always, when I have authors, is, what do you write? And I get to answer get this to first. Go first, yeah. And what I write is, I. In, a, in addition to what I think about writing, I write an opinion column for the Auburn Journal and have done this since 1989, 1987, I can't remember. Which I love. Good, thank you. And so I've, in 2013, I self-published 105 of some of my favorites. This is the book I self-published. Um, and another thing, Reflections from My Small Town. So this has 105 of some of my favorite columns in it up until about 2013. <laughs> and I have several more later uh, that I may eventually collect. So um, this is available on, on Amazon under, um, and another thing, at Reflections from My Small Town. It's also available on, at um, Winston Smith, and if you approach me, I'd be delighted to sell it to you because uh, I have several more books available. So that's my book. Wendy, what's your book? <laughs> what do you write? Well, I like to say that I write books that have no redeemable cultural value. <laughs> I just don't, you know. I discovered that it's so much fun just to just to write for fun, and that's what I do. And I started after I retired. I started writing a gothic romance book. Um, the first one, I had no intention of making it a series. I was just writing. That's it. how it turned out, though. Yes, that's okay. how it turned out. I wrote a, I wrote it. Then I wrote a second book, and then I wrote a third book, and that is what. This one is, this is my third book. It's called Spirit of Revenge. And um, all of my Hold books... Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. All, thank you. <laughs> all of my books are available on Amazon. They're either an ebook, a Kindle, or you can get them as a paperback. You'd get this size book here. And also, for people who still have Barnes & Noble Nooks, the ebook is available on Nook as well. Okay. All, of, all three of them are. And um, I don't know, just fun. And I should tell everybody this one thing, and that is that all of my stories follow a certain series of characters, one of whom is Eric, the Phantom of the Opera. <gasps> okay, cool, cool. And before we go any further, 
Wendy just said that that she you didn't plan on writing a series, but that's just what happened. And lots of I've talked to several professional authors who said no, 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 no. Uh, uh, you you follow your outline and and what don't. To, to defer from it, don't go outside of it, and so your characters do what you tell them to do. No, mine don't. <laughs> and it's amazing, you know, and, and I don't see why it should be amazing, <laughs> because if you're, if you're any good, you're writing characters with, who, are, who are fully fleshed, yeah. with minds of their own, yes. who, wait a minute, Come back here. Yeah. You, you're not, I don't want you to go there. I want you to go here. Yes. But the, you have to. How can you say that to him? How will you ever be able to look him in the face again? You can over plan. It's better to leave some space for your characters to be themselves. Yeah. That's what I think. <laughs> but what happened with my first book when I finished it was that I had gotten to be so attached to my characters, especially my main character, my heroine, Sylvie. I liked her so much, and I couldn't bear to just let that be the end of my relationship with her. Uh -huh. So that's when I started planning the second book, and then the third book. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're they're the characters are developing their relationship with each other and their experiences and, and passing and through time. And you're essentially following them. I'm following. Oh, them. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just following them. <laughs> what a mystery. Oh, yes. oh, wow. <laughs> what next? Well, show me. Is it my turn? Okay. Yes. Okay. You get to. Okay, I get to pull one out. Any particular one. I won't look. Any particular one. Okay. Don't look. I won't look. Okay. Okay. Let me get it open and see what it says. It says, what is the hardest part about writing? Okay. <laughs> What's Am I the, answering yes, that one? Yes, oh, you bet. The hardest part about writing, um, how isolating it is. That's, ah. It's very isolating. It's very lonely work. And what makes it so lonely? You're, you're by yourself. By yourself. <laughs> you're in your head. You're by yourself. And and the other thing is, um, you've got lots of other things going on in your life. You've got a house to take care of. You've got your family. You've got cooking. You've and got you have this, friends. You've got that. You have and appointments. You have yeah. Yeah. And during the time I was writing my second book, my mom was needing a lot of care, and so discipline was a huge part of what yeah, I had to yeah. do. If I was lucky, I might get two paragraphs written in a day. Uh -huh. But and and that's part of what makes writing so hard. I think women have it harder than men do as far as that because we're oh. the ones who usually are the caregivers, yeah, yeah. the okay. homemakers, and it's finding time and forcing yourself to find that time to write every single day. Yeah. Is is it's really hard. Yeah. Gold Country Writers, when I joined them uh, about a year and a half ago, was a godsend for me. Hold they, on, okay. hold on. Gold Country Writers, goldcountrywriters.com. Yes. A vital yeah. local organization of, yeah. of caring and interested and interesting writers. And so helpful, yes. It was like I had a community, a family that supported my work and understood what I was going through. Oh, good. And that was great, you know. Anybody who's interested in writing of any genre, I highly recommend Gold Country Writers. Good. Okay. So, that question is, what's the hardest part? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hardest part about writing. Yeah. The hardest part of, a uh, couple of things. Um, one is doing it. <laughs> doing it. Okay, I have, a, a friend of mine says, you know, you could get a, a, could have um, a couple of of evergreen columns hanging around in in mm. your computer someplace. Uh, that's a wonderful idea, Janice. I said, wonderful. However, if I have that there, I'm going to use it uh, instead of instead of writing. I'm going to use that piece and mm. and go and and then it will be gone. Mm. Um, I, I, the the hardest part about writing. That's that's one part. Doing it, getting it done, starting. And here's here's the another hard part up the blank page. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay, okay, here's here's a blank page, and how am I going to fill it? In my fantasy, sometimes I think everything's already written. I just have to find the word. To find it, yeah. 
And secondly, thirdly, the idea that, oh, how can I make it the best piece ever? How can I make it, how can I improve it? If you have time, but you don't have that much. You don't time. have time. It, it, <laughs> you, you can always make it better. Damn it. Yes. And uh, is this the best word? Is this the best word? If I and anyway. Oh. Anybody who read your column regularly would never sense that. Oh, good. <laughs> good. You always Thank seem you. to have the right word. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So next question. What will convince you? to stop reading a piece of writing? Oh, that's easy. For me, it's bad grammar, typos, whoever did it, they're... I'll give you an example. Has this is anybody... not local, is it? Uh-uh. Okay. Has anybody read a very popular book that came out a few years ago called Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> I've heard of it. <laughs> okay. Huh? Uh, somebody gifted me the set for a present, and I started reading the book, and the writing was... I'm sorry if I offend anybody. I, I'm i sorry. I'm coming at this from, Don't a, worry about it. from an author's point yeah, of yeah, view. Yes. I thought the writing was so poor, the quality of the writing, the repetition of the same things over and over again, bad grammar. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't, I couldn't finish it. And I'm sorry, <laughs> but <laughs> for those who love that book, uh, for okay. me it was torture. Yeah. Fingernails on a blackboard, yeah. torture. Okay. So that's my pet peeve okay. in writing. Yeah, ugh. Yes, <laughs> bad writing, yeah. yes. How, um, about, how about you? Oh, well, I feel the same way. I was wander I was driving my truck through Auburn once several years ago um, at lunchtime. I was listening to an audiobook by Patricia Cornwell and she uh, umpteenth in her in her mystery series. Okay. And what the next line was, shut up, I sharply said. And I was so angry. I, I slammed off the 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 the, the, the audiobook yeah, audio and screamed, "Shut up! I snapped! Shut up! I snapped!" <sighs> Sharply said, "No, no, dear. <laughs> you, no. you need the, the the benefit. The necessity is to use as few words as possible in every circumstance." Yeah, and. But sharply said. A sharply said snapped doesn't sound means right. Means sharply said. <laughs> and oh, I was so angry, and I'm so ang I'm so happy that my windows were up because <laughs> I, I didn't want to scare people. But I, I haven't. I didn't. I haven't read her anymore because <sighs> I was so annoyed at her publisher. And her editor for thinking for letting that go for letting that go yeah. for thinking oh well who cares she's popular it doesn't matter but we I deserve brilliant clear writing and and yeah. when I don't get it yeah. I'm furious yeah <clears throat> I know a favorite series of mine um, by the late author Elizabeth Peters. Uh, mm -hmm. is a is the Amelia Peabody series and there's a lot of books in that series uh -huh. they're, they're Egyptian archaeologists yeah. in the yeah. 1800s blah 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 very interesting mysteries but the problem with that series that started driving me crazy <laughs> is that she wrote so many books that she couldn't keep track of the what her characters oh, were oh for Pete's sake all of a sudden one person's name would change no that had been nope. the same name no uh, the eye color changed no you know I'm and sorry then it would change back in the next book no I'm like what nobody caught this yeah yeah nobody caught this stuff drives me crazy yes <laughs> yeah and you deserve better than that yeah I feel like I should be I should be allowed to edit those books yes <laughs> <Make them> right <laughs> but at the same time that means you won't you wouldn't have time for your own stuff right yeah right but <laughs> I don't I can <laughs> hate though <laughs> okay next okay let me let me put my glasses back on so I can read without these things I'm so blind okay what do we got here what's the best advice you've received about writing okay 
Oh, What's it's me? The, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's me that's going to start <laughs> answering the question. Um, I can't really say for sure about specific advice, but encouragement meant an awful lot to me when I first was writing. And I had a teacher in high school uh, named Virginia Garrett who supported me and was so encouraging to me. She made me feel as though I really could be a good writer. And one of the things she would always do is uh, she would read from whatever I had written, my essay, whatever, she would read it out, parts of it out loud to the whole class and just go, oh, like, like it was amazing. You know, I'm, I'm like 15 years old, right? 15 or 16 years old. It wasn't really amazing. Now, did she name, say who was, who's yes. this? Oh, my goodness. Yes. I mean, she gave me that and... Years later, her and I became really good friends, and we used to play Scrabble together and things like that. And I would always lose. <laughs> okay, you know she so was so good. Encouragement. Yes, it wasn't so much specific advice as the encouragement to believe in myself. Wow, wow. Yeah, I okay. owe her that. <laughs> Great. And and you. Yeah. What's the best uh, best advice you've received about writing? Well, early on in college, I was taught about transitions, moving from one paragraph to the other. And that's, that's a way to help the reader move, move smoothly. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's, oh. And it's like, here, here's a, here's a there, we're crossing the river and we have to do it carefully, but the easier, the e easier it is, the less attention you have to pay to crossing that river. And so so without without even knowing that it's a transition. Mm. So instead of the second most clear the second clearest way to solve this this problem of da 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 is da da da. Oh, that's that's really awkward. That's it, it's it's making the rock bigger yeah. than it needs to be. Mm. Instead, you could also do this, for for yeah. example, or yeah. then I tried this or yeah. something. Um, and, oh gosh, another happened when I was uh, in, fully in charge of my, my 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 capabilities and knew that I was a wonderful writer. And I handed in something, and it came back <laughs> circled in red. Ooh. Circled in red, circling all the passive verbs, oh. all all the forms yeah. of to be, and I'm looking at my uh, my, yeah. my 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 general manager back there, who also has had a problem with forms of to be, and no longer <laughs> because I made a fuss, um, and the problem with forms of to be is that it the they take more words than active verbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And and this sounds so formal and 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 tedious. And but but oh, an active verb, direct, straightforward, and your your reader, our readers deserve to just keep going. Keep going. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. And um, and be interested. Yes, because our attentions are caught by so much now. Oh yes. And and if you're if you're constantly giving us more words than necessary to get to the point, geez, the rerun of friends is on now. I'm somewhat guilty of being verbose in my writing, but I have tried to be better. In uh, Gold Country Writers, Rebecca Partridge, she has critiqued a lot of this book, as a matter of fact, during our critique sessions. Uh -huh. And she taught me that I way overuse was. I had way too many oh, wases. Oh, right? Oh, Wendy, Wendy, <laughs> passive verbs. <laughs> was, 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 yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they're so easy to use. <sighs> yes. So easy to use that you don't see them. Yeah, I learned a lot from her. Yeah. And I started uh, catching myself all the time and stopping myself from doing that. Yeah. And coming up with a better way. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. And so one of the solutions is to just <laughs> write it, and then do word searches. 
oh, yeah. was, were, yeah. am, are, be, all those being. Was's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And my thing with transitions, what I always try to do is have a hook to keep the reader interested and to keep reading. Yes. Especially like if I have a section break where a t there's a time change, I leave it with something hanging so that the reader will be oh. like, what's going to happen? Oh, what's I going better, on? I better keep reading. I better yeah, keep yeah, reading yeah, so yeah. I find out. Okay. So, yeah. I do like to do that. Good. It's a nasty little trick, but it works. Yes. <laughs> so what was that? The best advice? Well, another piece of advice is by a guy whose name I can't remember and whose name I didn't have time to search okay. this morning. Um, if it sounds like writing, I rewrite it. Oh, huh. that's interesting. <laughs> and kill your darlings with, with that's that's part of it. Yeah, kill your darlings. Yeah. yeah. If it's if it's different, if this if the leg is going higher than the other people in the in the in the uh, in the in the chorus line, you're attracting attention to yourself. Attracting attention to the writing, which is different from attracting attention to the story. To the story. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I've heard that phrase, kill your darlings. Yeah. It's used a lot in... And it's terrible. It's writers. really hard because you've worked so hard on this. Oh, it's, a, it's beautiful. I know. Oh, it oh. is hard. But the, the, writing sh the writing should be clear, not necessarily beautiful. It's the story that mm -hmm. should be beautiful. I sacrificed an entire chapter in my second book, and that was painful. Mm. I didn't want to. But it didn't oh. move the story forward. This is Wendy Cole's little page, a woman of great courage. <laughs> a woman yes. of great courage. <laughs> because she got rid of a chapter the whole that chapter. she had, like five, two thousand words? Probably. Oh. I mean, it was painful. Yes. But oh, I saved it. It's on my computer. Oh, sure. You I can use it someplace else, at least parts of it. Go back and look at it yeah. again. And yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so is it my turn? Yes, your turn. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you like best about writing? What 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 do I like best yeah. about writing? One of the things I like best about writing is having written, is having is getting it done. <laughs> is oh. also I can write. I like I like writing because I can do it because I'm good at it. Because I can, for one thing, I can solve problems with my writing. Mm -hmm. I, I can understand what, I, what I'm thinking and what my philosophy is if I can write it down. I, what I like best about writing yeah. is, is doing it. And you have the gift of offering teachable moments without making them seem preachy or teachy. Writers do, or you, I do. You do. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Remember that. I told you I read your column. This for woman years. has been has <laughs> books, and and so then she, therefore she knows what she's talking I about. I do. I'm an expert. <laughs> yeah. So Wendy, what what do you like best about writing? Well, one of the things that is the most fun for me, uh, because I'm writing books that take place. They're almost like historical fiction in mm -hmm. a way. They take place in Paris in the in the 1800s, the 1870s. It is historical fiction. Yes. yes. And so the research is, I love doing oh. research. I know some people think it's drudgery, but I have a lot of fun doing it. Oh, good. Researching the Phantom of the Opera original story to find out what was going on at the time. Guess what? The Franco-Prussian War was going uh -huh. on. Okay. There was a blockade. Nobody could get in or out of Paris. And here's all these people happily at the opera house, like nothing was going on. And I'm like, what? no, that's that's because that's <laughs> why they're at the opera house. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Distraction. But then yeah. I then I started researching the Franco-Prussian War and the aftermath and what happened. And I made that kind of part of my story. And um, you have to you have to research what the streets looked like in those days and in Paris uh -huh. and what what's my character wearing what did she dress what were they eating you know what was going on yeah. and they took uh, hansom cabs and with horse drawn things yeah. I mean it was just fun doing wow. all that research and then in, in the second book um, 
Eric, the phantom, becomes drawn into the political intrigues mm -hmm. that are going on. Mm -hmm. And by the third book, he's literally working for the government as a spy. Wow. wow. So I had a, a lot of fun doing, uh, Good. doing the research. To me, that's a blast. I learn a lot. Good. That's wonderful. <laughs> Again, I'm talking to Wendy Cole's Little Page. If you're interested in learning more about her series, disfiguredseries.com, or go on to Facebook, Wendy Cole's Little Page Author. And I'm on Instagram also under my name. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Next question. All right. Okay, now I'm going to answer it, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Here's an easy one. <laughs> Why do just... you write? That's an easy question. It would be like saying, why do I breathe? <laughs> okay. No, I, I write because I can't not write. I don't know how else to explain it. It was always my calling, always what I was good at, and always what I wanted to do. For a long time, I was working for the Superior Court, and I wrote technical stuff. I wrote legal <laughs> stuff. Uh -huh. I was all on the what is it, the left side of your brain or the right side of your I'm brain? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it was all technical and legalese and blah, blah, blah. And, and I, I wasn't creative at all. I lost the spark of being creative. And then when I retired, it was just like, wink. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> it opened up yeah. my brain and creativity came back to me. Uh, of course, it took my first book, it took me five rewrites. Yeah. Because I wasn't used to writing mm -hmm. creatively. Yeah. But... I, I love writing. It makes me feel like I'm my best self mm -hmm. when I do that. Cool. Yes. Great. Okay. Why do you write? I write because I can. I write and because I can, <clears throat> I have this ego that is fed regularly. Oh, Susan. <laughs> oh, Susan, thank you. I, I get comments and I, mm -hmm. and I, and that's, that's, it's, it's part of it. Yeah. Um, it's nice to know that people like what you do and appreciate it. Yes. That's always a good feeling. Right. Yes. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I write, I write because I can, because I enjoy it for the most part. <laughs> Oh, especially uh, when you're done. <laughs> oh, yes, especially when I'm done. Yeah. I think we have time for one more question. So I'll Your turn, yeah. see. Do you have a favorite quote about writing? <gasps> have we done that? We weren't going to do that. Okay. One, that's okay. Well, we can do it. <laughs> I have a favorite quote about writing that um, is, is uh, by a, a philosopher named Wittgenstein who says, that whatever can be said can be said clearly. And that's tedious and boring, but it's every writer needs to recognize that. Whatever can be said can be said clearly. And you say you don't know oh, my goodness. And and so yeah. you don't have you don't want we don't have any time. We're 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 finished. And what you said at the beginning, don't ask me that question because because I don't I have can't a favorite think quote. Of anything. <laughs> okay. So, um, Wendy, I really appreciate your, your um, coming here today. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to talk with you, find out more about you, and talk about my own writing and writing in general. It's lovely, <laughs> lovely. Well, I thank you so much for thinking of me and having me on because, you know, A, I wanted to have a chance to actually sit down and talk to you because I've never been able to do that, mm -hmm. and B, um, I'm doing something I've never done before. Yeah. I'm okay. Never, never been on television before. Great. So it's exciting. Good. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining me. Uh, log on to disfiguredseries.com and see what she has to say. This Again, this was Wendy Cole's little page. Thank you for watching. Thank you.